our Christmas cracker measurements. And we're going to do option one first. And ladies, this is option one. This is the eight inches by eight inches, okay? All right, so thank you, Gail. I'll put you and Garnet down, thanks so much. So this is the eight by eight. And then we're gonna also create another size tonight, eight by 10. So you're going to see both of these sizes this evening. These things are fast. So tonight I'm going to be using the Brightly Gleaming Designer Paper in the Holiday Catalog. Christmas Time is Here Designer Paper. That's this one right here. That is part of the November promotion. Available while supplies last, okay? And then the Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack. You definitely need, this is going to help you create those Christmas crackers. This is a punch duo. This is the very first time Stampin' Up! has bundled two punches to coordinate with the stamp set, okay? So let me show you where you can find um, in your find these materials, these products in your holiday catalog, okay? So we're going to... Um, we're actually going to start with the Christmas time is here, but while I have my catalog here, this is the Brightly Gleaming Suite, all right? And over on this page, and you may never have noticed this before, it caught my eye this week. Here's a Christmas cracker, and Stampin' Up! actually has some notes on how to create it. And so, like I said, it caught my eye this week. I'm like, why did I never see that before? So it tells you, um, the first thing is to score your designer paper every one and three quarter inches. And then you're going to center the ornament punch and punch it at each fold. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that this evening. Also on this page, you'll notice the stamp set and you'll notice this duo punch pack. So the punch pack is $34, the stamp set's 21, but ladies, you can bundle and save 10% and it's $49.50. There's also some foil sheets and um, this hammered um, embossing folder is beautiful. The star designer elements we're going to use tonight, and we're actually going to use some of this ribbon tonight too, all right? So um, you'll see these are the two that I've already made, but I'm going to use different designer paper for you tonight. And so we're going to have two more uh, versions of the Christmas cracker, all right? And let me just show you where Christmas time is here, all right? So let me just get that one out. This is Christmas Gleaming that coordinates with the punches, all right? And then the other one we're going to use tonight is Christmas Rose, and this is the November promotion while supplies last. This is a uh, clean rubber mount stamp, and these are photopolymer stamps, and they are together. This is one stamp set. And this, these, these images right here coordinate with this image. And so this is one of our distinctive stamps. So it makes the flowers look more realistic. This is a new type of stamp that Stampin' Up! has designed and we're trying to get a patent on it. But you would just ink this up and stamp it on top of the image. So this is the stamp set, and let me show you the paper. The paper does come 12 by 12, all right? And this is one piece of it, and I think I probably showed you this last week. We're gonna use this tonight to make a Christmas cracker. Here's another sheet, and of course you've seen this Christmas cracker, and this, and then this one. So this is the paper. All right, and this is the Christmas time is here sweet. There are two different bundles. 
And you can also purchase things separately. And if you purchase one of these bundles, ladies, you're going to receive a tutorial, a free tutorial on how to create this shopping tote. And also these four cards. All right, they are right here. It's a free tutorial. Plus you can join my exclusive Facebook group. It's all about this suite, all right? And if you um, would like to get a sampling of product, I do have the product share. And it's half a package, 12 by 12 designer paper, five yards of the gold shimmer ribbon, and 80 pieces of the enamel, the gold enamel glitter dots, all right? And that is the, the product share for this suite. All right, I think I've gotten through all of those promotions, and so now we're gonna have a little bit of fun, and um, we are going to be using our Simply Scored tool. Now, you can also use your stamp and trimmer with the scoring tool there, okay? That's always an option. When I am scoring several places, I like to just go on and get my Simply Score tool out. I'm going to be scoring the designer paper. Hey, Mary Kay, welcome. There is a tinier tip, and then there's a bigger tip here. So for designer paper, I'm gonna use that small tip for scoring because I don't wanna tear the designer paper. And so tonight, we're gonna start with our Christmas time is here designer paper. And this sheet of paper, ladies, is eight inches by eight inches, okay? I'm gonna take a sip of water, I'm getting dry here. Oh, good, Gail. Gail, I'll have the share in class this week. You can look at it. And it's $20, and it's, it's a nice sampling of product, and it's a great way to get a little bit of everything in the suite so that you're not breaking the bank, okay? All right, so let's go back to these measurements. We're gonna be scoring at one and three quarters, three and a half inches, five and a quarter inches, and seven inches, okay? And so I've already taken the time to mark my Simply Scored tool. And so I'm going to just go ahead now and put these score lines in just like this, okay? And that's all I'm going to need the Simply Scored tool for. Now remember, we're gonna make two different sizes tonight, okay? So that you can customize your Christmas cracker any size you want. All right, let's go ahead and let's fold on the score lines. They can be really hard to see because it's designer paper. And I'm not using the bone folder here. Um, I don't wanna take the chance of tearing the paper, although this does feel pretty thick with the gold foil in the paper. All right, so now I've scored everything here, and I think you can see the score lines pretty well. This is the punch that you need to use. So if you're looking at the punch pack, we wanna use the smaller ornament punch, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, and then I'm going to insert this punch as far as it will go. And then look at that score line. See that score line right there? I'm centering it, and I'm going to punch that out. And now I'm going to go to the very next score line. And again, they can be really difficult to see because it is designer paper and it's got that print in it. Here's another score line. I know that one's difficult to see. And then we've got one right here, okay? So that's what I have punched so far. Now over here on the end, I also want to punch, okay? Because I've got this extra space over here and I want half of that, just half, okay? 
And you'll know which side needs that extra punch when you make one of these. And by the way, if you're like me and you have a ton of designer paper, practice on some of your older paper or practice with a piece of cardstock, old, you know, a retired color, just to get the idea. Because the first one I kind of messed up on as well. So it takes a little practice. There's my score line right there. So I'm going to punch that. So as you can see, I am doing both sides. And it's just really hard for y'all to see that score line. So I apologize for that. But just remember that you want that score line right there in the center. All right. And we'll do it again. And again, I'm going to come over here and... I've got half of that ornament, and I'm going to pop that out, okay? So now, it's all punched out on both sides. So I'm going to flip it over, and now we're going to use tear and tape. Thank you, Anne. You can certainly um, watch later. Also, Anne, tomorrow on my blog, there will be a supply list, so you can pick it up over there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and trim right there. So you want a piece of tear and tape right there, okay? And then we want to put a little piece right here. And then we're going to put another piece right here. And you can use your scissors or you can tear it. You can work it either way. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to get out my pick, take your pick tool and I am going to lift that paper right off that adhesive, okay? I'm going to do it here, just trying to get under there and just get the paper off. And now I have, hey Liz, welcome! Thank you, Mary Kay, I'm glad you like it. All right, so now I've taken off that tear and tape, and I am ready to put these two sides together, all right? And so I'm going to close it right there, and then I'm going to close it here. And remember, I'm closing it right on that score line Oh, and this one just fell right into place. Now tonight, someone's going to win this Christmas cracker. I'm gonna draw a name. And so when I ship this to you tomorrow, I'm going to ship it flat, okay? So I don't wanna ship it this way because it will be all crinkled. All right, so now this part is done. See how easy that was? And so now we're going to close it. And what I like to do to close it is to put my index fingers here and close right along here, okay? And just close it like that. Now I will show you in the holiday catalog, let me show you how they did it. Right here at the very, very bottom of page 30, look at the end of this one. Their end is more open, all right? I found it easier for me to close it like this. So whatever works for you. So we're gonna go ahead and use our gold shimmer ribbon. And we are going to tie, you can tie a knot or you can tie a bow, whatever you are comfortable with. Um, I love bows. I have three daughters, so I've tied a lot of bows in my time. And so um, I'm going to opt to tie a bow. All right, and then I'll go ahead and trim that. And now we've got the one edge done. And so now we're gonna do the very same thing on this side, but remember, fill it up with goodies, chocolate, trinkets, whatever you can think of before you close this side. And if you forget, you can always reopen this side, okay? All right, so 
So here's some more of our gold shimmer ribbon. It's part of the um, November promotion. And I don't know if you know this or not, but you can color this ribbon with your Stampin' Blends. Thank you, Margaret. I'm so glad you like it. So, ladies, you can make this shimmer ribbon any color you want with your Stampin' Blends. So you'll have to give that a try. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. And trim that, okay? And if you win this tonight, I'll send the ribbon on with it, okay? Don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and embellish it. And we're going to use one of the greetings from the Christmas Rose stamp set, all right? And we're going to need Mossy Meadow ink. I've already taken the time to cut out my stitched oval so that you don't have to wait for me to crank that through the big shot. Wishing you the gifts of the season, peace and joy. And we can certainly use both of those, can't we? A little peace and a little joy. This die cut is from the Rose Dies, and that's part of the, of the November promotion. Hi, Amanda, welcome. <laughs> Gail says I'm the bow queen. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of this. All right, oh, see how my snail just made a little loop? Do you see that loop? I'm gonna teach you how I fix that. I just put my nail in this little wheel and I give it a few turns and now let's see if it works. Now it's working again. All right, so I am going to see if I can get this straight. I think that's straight. And then I'm gonna add this um, gold foil oval and this is from the layering ovals dies. I think I use them every week. I mean, I just love them. I love the layering ovals and the layering circles and the stitch shapes. I think if you're just starting out with crafting, I think if you start it with those three sets of dies, you would have it made because they just go with every single stamp set. So I'm gonna pop up the greeting and I'm going to layer it right on top there. And why not add some gold glimmer embellishments? These are also a part of the share. You get 80 of them, 160 come in the pack, and you would get 80 of these. And I'm, I'll go ahead and use that one. That size, there are four different sizes too. And let's use this one. And we'll put it over here. And now this Christmas cracker is all ready for someone to win. So I will draw a name this evening and someone will get this in the mail this coming week. All right, so this size, the eight by eight, is, is the size that, that, um, was it, that I showed you earlier tonight that, in the samples, okay? So now I've made three of these. See how quick they are? So if you've got some older Christmas paper, why not pull it out and create Christmas crackers for this year? It's a great way to use up that designer paper. Now, we're gonna make a longer one, all right? So I want to show you how you can make these in various sizes, depending on your preference. So we're going to go back to our Simply Scored tool. All right, and I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Now, does anyone have any questions regarding our first Christmas cracker? Okay. Be sure to like my page this evening, leave a comment this evening, and share. All of those things help you be in the drawing tonight, all right? I'm just cleaning up some of that scrap paper. 
Okay, so now we're going to use the Brightly Gleaming Designer Paper. And you'll probably just notice it's not a square anymore. It's not eight by eight. This one is eight by 10 inches. And so this is option two. I'm giving you a second option. It's the very same score lines. They are identical no matter how short or long you make your Christmas cracker. These are the key measurements for all of them, okay? All right, so this is eight by 10 inches. And um, this paper, this designer paper really doesn't have a direction. So you do wanna be careful with some of your designer paper because some of your paper has lines or you know various designs. And I don't think I have a piece of paper over here to show you, let me check. Here's another piece of that um, brightly gleaming designer paper, but it's not directional. So that's not gonna help us. Thank you, Terry, thank you so much. All right, so. We're going to be going this way. So this is what you have to remember. You need your paper eight inches across. If I put this at 10 inches, it's gonna be way too long for the scoring, okay? I won't have enough score lines. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think um, the 10 inches is going to be the length of the Christmas cracker, all right? Okay. So let's go ahead, let me get my um, stylus out again. I'm gonna use the small tip because this is designer paper and I don't wanna take a chance in ripping my paper. So here we are, this is five and a quarter and seven. So I did the very same score lines as I did on the first project, all right? And so now we're all done with the Simply Scored. So if you're making a bunch of them, definitely use your Simply Scored and you can score them really, really fast. And if you don't have a Simply Scored, then use your Stampin' Trimmer, all right? Hi, Denise. Oh, a Christmas cracker. Denise, I think it is um, an English tradition. I think this is big in England. And if somebody knows anything about Christmas crackers, please chime in. You can find them in various stores and they're already filled with trinkets and candy. Uh, so instead of buying them in the store, make your own. So you could fill these, um, again, with trinkets, with candy. I don't know if you can get a gift card in there. I don't think so. But whatever it is you would like and then they get opened at Christmas. And I don't know if you open them Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So maybe I need to do some research on the Christmas crackers, but that's all I know about it. So somebody can Google that for us. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold my designer paper. I've gotta fold all these creases. I could use my bone folder, but when it's designer paper, I tend to light my fingers so that I don't tear the paper. All right, okay. So I think you're gonna be able to see the scored lines a whole lot better on this sheet of paper. Now remember, we're gonna go back and use this punch pack, but this is the only punch we need. We don't need the big one, okay? All right. So, oh, you could put the little Bath and Body hand sanitizers in there. You could do a lip gloss or lipstick, maybe a small hand cream. Margaret, you've got me thinking. There are a lot of different things we could do. <laughs> Good for you, Margaret. You're on your game tonight. So you all keep brainstorming and then we can uh, make these as little treats at Christmas. Okay, so we're gonna get started again. We're gonna get on that first score line. And remember, I am putting this punch in as far as it will go, all right? And then I'm going to punch. This always looks so funny. It's like, oh, you've ruined the paper. Again, there's my score line right along there. All right, I haven't made one this size, ladies, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Now, another option, option three, 
You could do a sheet of designer paper that's eight by 12, and that would be super long. You could really fill some stuff in there. Okay, so we've gotten those in, but remember, remember over here, I've got that extra paper. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to punch right along here and I'm centering that, okay? All right, Margaret Spencer has the answer. It's English. It's placed at dinner on Christmas. Always had a fortune in it, a trinket, and a paper crown. It's a British tradition. Had a popping strip in the middle that popped when opened. That is so cool. Everyone would receive a cracker, even Papa. That is so cool. You know, I feel really bad that I didn't look this up before we started tonight. But that's a really cool tradition. So I'm assuming it's Christmas Day and not Christmas Eve. So, all right. We're going to go over, ladies, and we're going to do the other side. All right? So you all are pros at this now. You know exactly what I'm doing. Again, this sheet of designer paper is eight by 10, all right? And we can make it longer by using eight by 12, but we're gonna go with the eight by 10. And remember over here, I've got this extra paper. Let's insert it again. And then there we are, only half of that paper is in there, okay? All right. All right, so now we're ready to add our tear and tape. Now remember, this guy's a little bit longer than what we had before. All right, so let's get our tear and tape out. I'll go ahead and tear there. So you can either tear or you can use scissors. I tend to prefer the scissors, but it depends on if I'm in a hurry, then I'll use my fingers. All right, Margaret says, oh, they had to wear their hats. Oh, cool, what a really cool tradition. All right, all right. Hi, Lee, welcome. Lee, We're this is our second Christmas cracker tonight, and so you haven't missed anything, and you'll be able to go back and check the replay. Yeah, Margaret, thanks for checking that out. Hi, Linda. Hi, Denise. Nice to have you tonight. I'm going to take my you pick tool, or take your pick. I always want to call it the wrong thing. And then I'm just going to lift up under this paper. Sometimes I do better with my scissor points. All right, so there's that first piece of paper. I'm trying to get right under that. Oops, my top fell off. Let me screw this back on. Does that ever happen to y'all? All right, and now I've got this last piece that I'm going to get up, all right? Now, what we're going to do is, we're gonna bring this over, and we want these two ends to meet, okay? And actually, you can do it like this, okay? Or, let's see if we can't do it like this while it's still folded. Oh, I like that. That's, that is actually easier, ladies. So you may wanna do it like that, okay? Now, if you win this tonight, I will mail it to you flat, all right? So that's our Christmas cracker, and now we're going to add some ribbon. And remember, I tend to kinda of smush these down a little bit like that, okay? All right. I do want to show you one thing. On this, this is from the same designer paper pack. It's called Brightly Gleaming, and it is gorgeous, and it's got copper in it. I want you to look at this ribbon. It's old olive and pretty peacock, and it is downright gorgeous. We're going to use a different ribbon tonight, but I just wanted to show you this. It's, it's pretty peacock on this side, and it's old olive on this side, and it's a little bit iridescent, so, um, and it's 10 yards. It's in the annual book, but um, it goes so beautifully with this suite, so keep this in mind if you have it. 
Now, I'm gonna use a different one tonight, and that's going to be the Merry Christmas ribbon with the copper. And this does coordinate with the suite, all right? So it's just part of the suite. If you um, took part in my ribbon share, you have two and a half yards of this, okay? So you'll be able to use this for several. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna wrap this around, all right? And gosh, I guess you can really decide which way you wanna do your writing, you know, which way you want it to go. I'm just gonna go with that, all right? And there I am. Yeah, I'm really liking this paper too. Um, it is in low inventory right now, okay? Just a FYI, so if it is something that you really, really like, um, this is a paper that you'll want to go on and order and not wait until next month, okay? All right. So this ribbon is a little wider than the Pretty Peacock ribbon, but it did tie up nicely. And then I am going to put that there, okay? You can do a knot. You don't have to do a bow. And this is where you fill this up, okay? And then this is where you um, go ahead and close this up right here. And we're gonna tie this up. And if you're getting this tonight, if I draw your name, you'll get the ribbon, but it will ship flat, okay? All right, because it will definitely get smushed. Oh, and by the way, it's not gonna have anything in it. <laughs> Unless I think of something. Unless there's something here in my stamp room that um, I can stuff in it. All right. Kind of lost track of this bow. Hang tight. All right. You know, I love tying bows, but when I do it on video, I get, like, really nervous. It's like I, you know, hopefully I do it right. Okay. So there's a ribbon there, and we are going to put a little tag on here. And I'm going to be using copper foil. I cut this out with the layering circle um, dies, and I'll just measure this scallop circle about two inches. That's gonna be the diameter if you're looking for that framelit. And we're gonna use some Knight of Navy and the Deck the Halls is from the Christmas Gleaming Stamp Set. And I'm going to show it to you real quick. Here are the words. We've got a beautiful flourish here. These are the ornaments that can be punched out with the punches. And this holly is really pretty colored with your Stampin' Blends. Or you could watercolor. All right, so Night of Navy, here we are. So we're wrapping things up, ladies. So let me know if you have any questions. All right, again, if you're in one of my local classes, you'll see the Christmas products this weekend. You're gonna see um, the product shares. Everything is up close and personal, all right? All righty, so I'm just putting some tape right there oh and i do want to show you the difference in sizes so don't let me forget to do that let's go ahead and get our star all right whoops so i'm just trying to pick up this little guy come on there you go i could have used the take your pick tool as well i tend to just change um back and forth all right so we'll put those two on and then we'll pop it up. Oh, I hope you saw that. All right. And I'll go ahead and put another one on here since it is gonna go through the mail. All righty. And I'm just popping this up right on that copper. So this is the eight by 10. Let's go back and look at the other one we made tonight. This is eight by eight, eight by eight, eight by 10. So now you can see the difference in length. So 
You could do an eight by 12. If you did eight by 12, it's gonna give you two more inches over here and it'll be super, super long. Um, this is eight by eight. You could do an eight by six and then it's gonna be a little bit shorter, but that would make it really tiny. So once again, here are the measurements. You will find the Facebook replay video and the supply list with measurements on my blog tomorrow, all right? It'll be on Friday's blog post. All right, and ladies, if you're interested in any of these products that I showed you tonight, you can shop in my online store at www.shopwithbecreativestamping.com. This is the hostess code for the month of November. And do remember that I like to reward my customers when they shop with me. So when you spend $35, you earn a B. And when your card is filled up, you do receive $35 in free product. And I redeem those at the end of the month. So I, I keep the card for you, I keep the record, I write down the transaction, and I just kind of keep you posted, okay? okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Gail says the long one's good if you give anyone a rolling pin. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So these are the Christmas crackers, my friends. And anybody have questions, need to see any samples, want to see the holiday ornament or the holiday cocoa packet, let me know. I'm still here. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight has been very smooth. Um, and I, I, I think I just got nervous last night because my daughter wasn't home to help me. She says it was not me, but I know it was. But... Um, Anyway, oh, I do want to remind you one more time, Facebook Lives for the rest of the month. They will be on Monday evenings at 7.30. Um, the next three Wednesday nights, I have other events. And so um, I will see you in just a few days, this coming Monday. And we're going to use the Moose Punch and the Moose Stamp Set. And I might even have a special um, guest teacher with me on Monday night, November 11th. All right. All right, ladies. <laughs> yes, Mary Kay. Everyone does need a rolling pin. <laughs> all right, ladies. That's all I can think of. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. It's always nice to share Wednesday with you. I'll see you Monday night, November 11th. 7.30 p.m. I would love to see your Christmas crackers. So make some and send me photos. And you can reach me via email if you have any questions. Thanks so much for buzzing by.